How's it going everybody? Welcome to Fitness Frolics. My name is Niall. Hopefully everyone's in good form. So what we're going to do today is just we're going to aim to do a few different uh, exercises, movements, things like that in whatever space we happen to have. Okay. The only equipment we need is a ball if you have one. If you don't, don't worry. A pair of socks and a bottle of water to hand in case we get a little bit out of breath. Okay, so the aim of the game here is to make us better players, camogie players, football players, hurlers, all right? So even though it might look like it, a lot of the stuff we're going to do, or all the stuff we're going to do, is hopefully going to help us achieve that. And we'll explain how we do that as we go, all right? So the first thing that we're going to do is, we're just going to do a little bit of a warm-up, okay? So, whatever space you have, we're going to play a game called Body Parts. All we're going to do is we're going to move around the area, whatever, whatever area you have, and whatever body part I call it, you just have to touch it off the ground and then get moving again, okay? So we'll explain as we go. Let's get moving, and you where you want. So anyways, back ways, nice and easy. Just become familiar with your surroundings. And ready, knee. Straight back up again, good, well done. Side to side, let's get moving. A little bit quicker this time, well done. Ready, elbow. I'm old. Hopefully you guys were able to do that. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Easy one. Hands. And up we get. Nearly there. Nearly there. Ready. Tummy. Up again. Last one. Five more seconds. Ready. And nose. Nose off the ground. Hopefully now we smashed it. Okay. Quick little breath. Let's change it up a tiny bit. This time. Instead of... Instead of just touching that body part off, part off the ground, whatever I call is the only thing that's allowed to touch the ground. And we're gonna hold it for a couple of seconds, okay? So let's get moving again. That's it, forwards, backwards, ready, and heels. Hold it, hold it, two more seconds. Only your heels, and let's get going again. Good, good, good. Couple more seconds, ready, and hands. Hold it, hold it. Ah, terrible at handstands. Hopefully some of you guys are still holding it. If you are, you can drop down. Nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. Last one, and boom. Down, boom, the only thing touching the ground. Feet up, hands up, hold it a sec. Hold it a sec, and relax, well done. Hopefully we're a little bit out of breath, getting a little bit warmer now. So, let's move on to the first exercise. First number is number three. Number three is a lunge, okay? So, let's practice a lunge. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then we're gonna try and put it into a few different variations. Real simple. I'm gonna start sideways. All we're gonna do is take a big step out, push back up to straight. Big step out, push back to straight. Just gonna take, make sure your back knee a little bit off the ground and do that. So let's do that, all right? Alternate foot. Lead with the right, lead with the left. Let's do two more on each leg. Don't push too far forward with your knee. Keep your back nice and straight. And come back. Okay. Now, grab your ball or your socks, whichever one you have. This time what we're gonna do is, when we're lunging out, we're gonna throw the ball and catch it. Okay? So I'm gonna face you this time. Ready? So it's a lunge. Catch, lunge, throw, catch, lunge, throw, catch. Let's do a couple of those. Lunge, throw, catch. There we go. Three more on each leg. Excellent, excellent, nearly there. Lunge, throw, catch. Last couple, and we're there. Take a quick breather. A lunge is a brilliant exercise because it really helps us be stable on one leg, especially when we're trying to get down into that pick up position, or for the girls to pick us straight up or for the boys to get down really low. Okay, so you guys are well able for that. Let's make it a little bit harder. Instead of doing it on the spot, we're gonna move around the area. This time, with your ball, or just my socks this time, all we're gonna do is we're gonna pass our ball or our socks around our body as we're moving. So let's aim for doing, let's say, six steps on each leg while passing our ball or socks around. One, two, three, keep moving. Four, well done. Five, we're on for 12 all together. Six, seven, keep the ball moving, go the other way. Nine, 10, nearly there. 11, 12, excellent. Men should be starting to be a little bit fatigued now, that's what we're looking for. One more here. Let's try and make it a little bit more game based, okay? 
So we're really just going to be walking around. We're going to be pretty much jumping most of the time. Running and jumping. So this one, what we're going to do is, we're just going to aim for four on each leg here. If you watch me, we're just going to do jump lunges. So we're just going to go down, push up, swap to the other leg. Push up, swap to the other leg. This should be sore, okay? So everyone, let's get ready. Facing the, facing the, the screen. We're gonna go for, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll do five each leg. Then we'll go to something else. Ready? Off we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. One we'll more each leg. Five, five. Woo! A little bit of a stretch on. Excellent. Well done, take a quick drink if you need it. I know I do. Okay, so while we're taking a rest, let's get the second number. Second number is 17. 17 is hops, okay? So hops, all we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple of different variations here and hopefully make it true to, true to a game if we can. So, real simple to start off. Hands on air, hands on air, and hips if we want, or just anywhere that's comfortable. All we're gonna do is stand on one leg, and do 10 little hops. Let's do that in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Swap the legs, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Why are we bothering hopping? Anybody want to throw in the comment section what I am um, hopping is really good for in terms of the skill and getting football or hurling? You might throw it into the comments there, see if anybody picks it up, okay? Next one we're going to do, we're going to aim to go a little bit higher this time, okay? So we're going to go push up and land, okay? And then go straight back up, right? So we can use our arms this time, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should be a little bit more tired after that one. Quick little break. Swap the legs. Again, we're going to go continuous. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Anybody come back with any comments about what skill that's good for? I'm seeing one or two there. High catch, okay? So jumping up, obviously off one leg, going up to catch the ball. You want to be able to jump really high and land really well. So the landing is what we're going to focus on now. This time we're just going to do five. The aim of the game here is to do a really high jump, just like we did, but instead of jumping straight back up straight away, we're gonna hold it, stick the landing a little bit. Just gonna show you what. I'm gonna jump up and land really strong. Hold it for a second. Gonna do that five times on our left leg. Ready? Let's go. Jump, stick, and relax. Jump, stick. Lost my balance there. Really important to be as stable as we can. Three, two more on this leg. Jump, stick. And last one, jump, stick. Excellent, okay? One leg, jump, stick. Last one, balance. Try and keep yourself as stable as you can. Jump, stick. And you there, three more. Jump, stick. Last two, up, down. Should be getting tired now. And up, down. Really good. So let's put that into a little bit of a match. If you're beside the wall, or your mom or dad or your brother or sister's in the room with you, give them the ball. Okay, what we're gonna try and do now is we're gonna go facing the wall or facing your mom or dad. They're gonna throw you the ball as we're jumping forward. So instead of just jumping up in the air, we're gonna jump forward. And as we do that, you can throw the ball against the wall or get your mom and dad to throw it to you. And we're gonna try and jump and catch it. Really important that we try and stick the landing as well. We're just going to do three each leg here. Start on one leg, throw, and catch. Okay, let's practice that. Same leg, two more times. Throw, and catch. Really good. Last one. Bit of coordination needed here. Throw, and catch. Well done, guys. What a leg, three times. Terrible on that leg. You might know it's just stronger on one leg rather than the other. Ready? Throw and catch. Last one. Throw and stick. 
Brilliant. Woo, mine wet, I need a break. So I'm gonna hand you over to Owen Merchant now. Just before I do, one quick challenge for Owen. What I'm gonna ask him to do is, add to a little challenge. Simple one for you all to start. All I want to do is throw, clap, catch. Throw, clap, catch. Throw, clap, catch. Try and do that and then make it a little bit harder for the boys and girls. Okay guys, I'll see you in a little while. Okay, thanks Lyle for that. That looked really, really good. I hope everyone is nice and uh, energized and nice and warm and ready to keep it going. For anyone that doesn't know, um, my name is Owen Merchant and I play with the senior footballers. Um, no one's there anymore, let's get straight into it, okay? So we're gonna move straight into the next number because it looks like everyone's having a great time and everyone is nice and warm. So I'm gonna get the next number here, which is number six, okay? So number six is crowd walks. This is a bit of a tough one on the arms and shoulders. So what we might do before we jump straight into it is get our arms and shoulders warm, okay? So what we're gonna do is find a bit of space, use all the space you can in your room, Okay, and let's spin side to side for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, keep the arms nice and wide. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, very good. This time what we're gonna do is windmills with our arms together, okay? So let's roll them forward for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, very good. And the same going back for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good, okay. This time what we want to do, this is the last one to warm our arms up before we go into the crab walk. Let's put our arms nice and far out in front of us and I'm gonna clap in front and behind. Okay, we're gonna do six of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good, okay. Shake them out, move around. Let's keep ourselves nice and warm, nice and energized. Okay, and then we go into the crab walk. So what we're gonna do is get down onto the ground, plant our feet, let's put our hands behind us, and let's walk around the room like this. Okay, bum up off the ground if we can. We can walk forward, we can go sideways, as far as we can, use all the space in the room, backwards as well. Last 10 seconds, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, very good. Let's get up and shake it all out. If we want to make that a little bit harder, we can by getting a pair of socks. Okay, so we're gonna go one more time. This time, what you're gonna do is get up into the crab position. We're gonna use our socks and. Um, as a little bit of a trick to help us keep stable, okay? So you're gonna put the socks on your belly and you're gonna try keep as still and as steady as possible so that the socks don't fall off, okay? Let's go for 10 more seconds. Don't let those socks fall if you can. Forward, backwards, side to side, use all the space. Keep moving, three, two, one. Okay, very good, nice. Let's get up, shake it out, move around. If anybody wants to get a drink of water, go grab a drink now and get your breath back. Okay, and once everyone's done that, we will move on to the next number, okay? So, oh, looks like I'm getting the next number there. And it's number two, okay, number two. This isn't a great one. I don't think many people are gonna like this now. Number two is clean your room. Um, so you'll see my room is nice and clean here, but for anyone who's made a bit of a mess, what we're gonna do is at the very end, you're gonna clean your room and make sure it's nice and spotless for your parents again, okay? So let's move on then. What we might do is a little bit of a skill. If everyone can get their socks again, or a football if you have one, but if you're inside, it might be safer to use a pair of socks, okay? Our skill is going to be um, a solo of the sock, okay? So what we're gonna do is take the sock, try to do a solo with our right foot, take a few steps, if we can do a solo with her left again, another few steps, take a solo again. Don't worry if you drop it, just pick it back up and go again, okay? Let's try and get four on each foot. Very good, make sure we're soloing with the laces. Keep our head down when we do it. Very good, okay, shake it all out. Let's keep moving around, okay? Okay, now it's time to move on to our third number, I think. So I should be getting it here. 
The third number is number 26, okay? So number 26 is a side plank, nice. Okay, so our shoulders should be nice and warm. So what we're gonna do is find a bit of space. Let's lie down cross ways. Put one arm on the ground, our feet one on top of the other, which hopefully, oh, if I move closer, we might be able to see it. Okay, and let's push ourselves up, okay? Put your hand on your hip if you can, to keep yourself steady. Let's go for 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good, okay, let's switch over onto the other arm. Same thing again, put our feet on top of each other and use our arm to push ourselves up, okay? Let's make sure that our bum is up off the ground, hand on our hips, and let's go for 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, very good. Nice, let's shake it all out. That's all from me, guys. I hope everyone's nice and warm. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Um, actually, I have one little skill to do. So Niall had a challenge. Niall's challenge for us all was to throw up, clap and catch, okay? So I'm gonna add to that. I'm gonna make it that little bit more difficult. So what we're gonna do is throw the, the pair of socks or the ball or whatever we're using up. We're gonna clap, touch our chest and catch, okay? So throw, clap, touch, catch, okay? Throw, clap, touch, catch, okay? So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is challenge everyone to do that. And hopefully Emma can add to it as well and make it even tougher, okay? So what I'm going to do is pass it on to Emma. Thanks, everyone. Okay, thanks, Phil and Owen. Hi, guys. Emma O'Brien here from the Dublin Senior Camogie team. Um, you are all working really hard there, okay? So we're going to take a bit of a break. Just give yourselves a breather. Get some water if you, if you need or if you like. Um, get yourself some space and your uh, socks or your ball again ready, okay? So shake it out. Okay, so first up, we're just gonna do a bit of a warm up, okay? So we're just gonna do uh, five squats. So you're just getting down to the ground, as long as you can. Okay, so we'll do five of these, okay? So when you're ready, one, two, three, four, five. Well done, shake it out. That's it, well done. Okay, so I have the first number coming into me now. So number 24 which is a wall sit okay so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be finding a wall anywhere anywhere you can get one and you're going to be pretending like you're sitting on a chair so that you can balance as if you could balance something on your leg okay so we're going to go for 20 seconds in three two one let's go so pretend you're sitting on a chair almost against the wall okay well done really good work guys hold it there Do it, well done, last 10 seconds. In three, two, one, well done. Brilliant stuff guys. That's a tough one I know. Okay, shake it out. Right, so the next number coming into me now is number 22, which is gonna be sit-ups, okay? So, get your socks, as we have. Firstly, we're gonna be getting on the ground. And keeping our feet still on the ground and we're sit lying down, put our hands on our head or behind your head, okay? We're gonna be up for a sit-up, okay? So we're gonna do ten of these already. So on my count in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Well done. Okay, shake it out. Shake it out, Okay, we're going to be back down to the ground again. Get your socks this time. This one is a bit tricky, okay? So hopefully you can do it at home as well. So you're going to put your socks in between your two feet, okay? You're going to be lying down like you were in the sit up, okay? And you're going to be lifting your legs up and you're going to grab the socks with your other hand. And you're gonna put it back into your feet now and raise your hands back. So we're gonna go for six of these, okay? So when you're ready, in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, 
five and six. Well done, guys. That was a tough one. Shake it out, take a breather. Okay. Okay, so the next one is gonna be a skill, okay? So what we're gonna be doing is, we're gonna to pretend to be getting down low for a ball, okay? So we're, I'm gonna use the socks here. So I'm gonna throw it in a random place in the room, okay? I'm gonna jog around different directions. When I call go, you're gonna get down really low, as if you're going up for a ball, and jog around again and drop it in. So you're jogging around again, different directions, shuffle, go. Well done, guys. Jogging around again. Shuffle it across if you want. Different directions. Go. Well done. Jogging around again. Backward shuffle if you want. And go. Well done, okay. So, just to warm down a bit. So, we're gonna be jogging around with our um, socks or our ball. So, we're gonna be the same thing, but except the ball's in your hand. So you're gonna jog around. When I say stop, you're gonna stop on your leg. You're gonna try, reach the sock down to the ground and back up again, okay? And change hands each side and change leg. Okay, so when we're ready, in three, two, one, let's jog around. Jog around all the time and stop. Okay, so I'm reaching down to the floor and back up again. Well done. So change hands and stop. So I'm switching legs all the time. Keep my balance and up again. Well done. Okay, we'll go one more time. So different directions all the time and stop. So I'm down. Well done, guys. Okay, so as you've seen from Owen, he's sharing a skill with you. He's added on to it. So what I'm gonna do is add another layer onto that, okay? So let's see if we can get it, okay? So what Owen did was he threw it up in the air, touched his chest caught the ball okay so I'm gonna be adding on to that now okay so I'm gonna be going up top chest that's what I'm gonna charge you so what I'm gonna do is up top chest and knee okay see if you can get that well done guys brilliant stuff now welcome back guys merch Emma thanks a million that was some brilliant advice there hopefully it's really really valuable and you guys can relate to the two lads especially merch who's probably around the same height as most of you guys. Okay, so you're probably a little bit tired, so just take a couple more seconds. While, while we're doing that, just a quick happy birthday to Jane and Swords and Ollie and Terry York. Hope you guys are having a super day. Okay, so before we move on to the next number, let's just close out this little skills challenge, okay? So I've got my Nafina socks. Obviously Nafina is the best club in Dublin. And um, so we're gonna see if we can do the challenge. So it's a clap, a chest touch, Catch it on our knee, and I'm gonna add in, see if I can flick it back into my into my hand with my foot before we catch it, right? So let's see if this works. Probably won't. Just a bit, I can't believe I got that. Alright, so what you guys can do is try it there yourselves if you want, but this is one for later on if you need it, okay? So this is a brilliant one to challenge your friends on. How many different ways can you touch can you touch um, a ball or a pair of socks? before you take it back into your hands. That's four little touches there. Let's see if you can beat that. And we'd love to see your tries on Twitter. Okay, so let's get on to the next number now. Next number is number 13, which is an inchworm, which is a bit of a weird one for those of that don't know it. So I'm gonna demonstrate it really quick. So an inchworm is, I'm just gonna stand, feet shoulders apart, back nice and straight. This is an exercise that hopefully will help our shoulders, our core and our legs, leg mobility. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to keep our legs pretty straight. We're going to reach forward, walk our hands out till they're just underneath our shoulders, and walk ourselves back up. Okay, let's try that one more time. Walk it up nice and easy, hands under the shoulders, keep our core nice and tight, and back up. So hopefully everyone's had a couple of tries of that. Let's do five of those in a row, okay? Continuous. Ready, set, off we go. One. Here we go. Two, brilliant, keep going. As we're doing this, if any moms and dads want to throw them in the comment section if they disagree whether the feet is the best club in Dublin and what they think their best club is, throw it into the comments there. We'd love to hear your opinions. And that's five. Okay, so hopefully everybody has it at this stage. Let's make it a little bit trickier with a bit of coordination. Grab your socks. Put your socks, I'm just gonna face you this time. So put your socks a little bit in front of you. What we're going to do is we're going to walk out, 
pick up yourself to one hand, throw it and catch it in the other. Okay, I'll just show you real quick. Walk out, pick up your socks, catch them, leave them back on the ground. Okay, next time, um, throw it with the other hand first. Let's do six of those, so we get a chance to do three on each side. Ready, set, off we go. Walk out, throw, catch, walk back. Out we go again, throw, catch. Try not to twist our body, especially when we've got one hand off the ground. Throw, catch, that should be about three. Keep going, we should be getting a little bit more tired now. Throw, catch, that's four, two to go. Always stand them back up to straight in between. And I've got one more to do. Throw, catch. Okay, so hopefully most of us have a hang of it now. Let's see if we can throw a little bit of them, um, a little bit of misdirection your way and throw a little skill. So grab your ball if you have not This time we're gonna play the, the different points on the compass. So if you can imagine, in front of you is north, behind you is south, to your right, or to my right is east and west. North, south, east, west. All we're going to do is whichever direction I call, you're going to do an inchworm in that direction. So if I call west, I'm going to do an inchworm here and back to straight. Trick is, you have to do a solo before you do each inchworm. So now you're going to be taking skills and movements. Ready? Let's do a little test. Ready? West. So, walk out. Walk straight back up. Good. Pick up the ball. Let's get ready to go again. Ready? Self, solo, back, and back up. If you can solo with different feet each time, all the better. One more of these, don't make it a bit tricky. Ready? North, solo, walk out, and come back. Ball in your hand again. This time, I'm going to count multiple, different, multiple points. Remember, if you're going to solo before each inch one. Ready? North, south, east, west. So, now to the north, ball, so, south, back, so, over to the east, you should be getting tired, let's keep going, last one, so, over to the west, and I'm getting slower, because I'm getting tired, finish it out if you haven't finished it yet, make sure you get to the four points and do your four solos, and relax a sec, okay, Take a little bit of a breather there. Quick drink if you need to. We're nearly there, we've got one number to go. You guys are doing brilliant. Okay, y'all, last number. 11 is hip bridges, okay? So this is a bit of an unusual one. This is a brilliant exercise for your hamstrings and your bum, which are the main muscles that you use to run fast and jump high. So I'm gonna show you how to do it really quick. What you need is, just to, just to lie back on the ground, Put your knees bent up, your feet flat on the ground. All we're going to do is, you can hold your two hands beside you if you want, and relax your head. All we're going to do is, we're going to push up, so that there's a straight line, if you can imagine, going all the way through my body, to the back of my shoulders, shoulders to me, and go back down. Push up with your hands if you need it for support. Up you go, hold it for a sec, and go back down. Let's do five of those, ready? One. And down. Do it at my pace if you can. One. And down. Two all together. Up. That's three. Keep going. Last two. And down. And last one. Really, really good. Okay. So the key to this is that we push up all the way. We don't just sort of push up a little bit. We want to push our hips all the way up to the ceiling. So we're going to do a little tester here to make sure we're getting it as, um, as crisp as we can. Grab your football if you have one. This time, you're gonna push up into a bridge and you're gonna hold it, you're gonna hold it there. The end of the game is, you're just gonna pass the ball back and forth underneath your bum, so that you're making sure your bum doesn't drop. If your bum drops, it's gonna stop the ball from coming through. So let's do that for a couple more seconds. Your bum, your hamstring should be getting a little bit tired now. Couple more and relax. Brilliant work, okay? So, let's just take a little bit of a breather. Let's keep the ball. Let's do a little bit of hand-eye coordination. Nearly there here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stay up in that bridge and we're gonna throw the ball up in the air and catch it. Try and make sure the ball doesn't twitch the ground, okay? So into our bridge position, up we get. And let's start just throwing the ball. Just like a little chest pass, up 
and down. It's too easy, move to one hand. That's too easy, move to your other hand. And you can throw it up and down. If you need to reach for it, all the better, because it means that we're really making sure that we're challenging ourselves. And relax again. Did anybody not drop it? It's a tough, tougher than it looks, I think. Last one we're gonna do. If anybody feels that, that that one with two legs is too easy, let's try a one-legged one. For those that are, are finding that challenging, keep it at two legs. So the one-legged one is just gonna be up, and we just straighten one leg, put it back down. Straighten one leg, put it back down. Straighten one leg, so we're not lifting it really well, we're just straightening it. Let's do another couple. See, two more each leg, straight. Down, don't let your hips drop, keep it high. Last two, last one. Stay in that position for the last one, bringing in the skill, the trickiest skill of the whole day. Okay, so you're gonna rarely find yourself in a football match needing to do this, but let's practice it anyway. Let's try and do a solo with the leg that's off the ground. Okay, so apologies to moms and dads in advance if this goes and knocks any pictures off the wall. So up we go, throw it out, bring it back. Throw the ball out. Bring it back. Throw it out, bring it back. Good. Try to keep your hips up. Almost lost it there. Throw it out, bring it back. Last couple. This is one I'd love to see a few people doing a little bit of an attempt. Attempt that at home, okay? That's a little bit of a tricky one, okay? So, that's all we're gonna do for the hip bridges because my hamstrings are getting a little bit sore now, okay? So, Hopefully, that's all the exercises we're supposed to do for today. We're after running out of time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, you guys will be back next week and are a little bit tired, which is the aim of the game here. And we're going to run every Thursday, so we hope that everyone will be back next week and there'll be different coaches on next week to put you guys through your paces. Okay, guys, thanks a million. See you again. I don't know about all of you. Sorry. I was doing my session. I don't know about all of you, but that was another fantastic, family-friendly, fitness frolic fun from Niall Cooper, Owen Merchant, and Emma Byrne. Uh, I had to do it myself. Um, that was that's us for today. If you missed any of the sessions, you can watch them back on our Facebook page, and also all of today's sessions are under eight, under under ten and are on their 12 videos, will all be uploaded tomorrow morning on the Dublin GA Coaching and Games YouTube channel for you to watch back at your pleasure. We'll be back at the same time next Thursday. All of the adults in the house, please keep an eye on our website and social media platforms for updates. And please upload your videos and pictures and tag us in your posts at Dublin GA Coach and using the hashtags Dub GA Coach and hashtag Fitness Frolics. I hope you all had loads of fun today or under eights first at three o'clock or under tens at 4 p.m. And there now are under twelves at 5 p.m. Again, Fitness Frolics is not just for the children, it's for everybody. So all of you deserve a rest. I know I do anyway. On behalf of Dublin GA, Mark McManus, Emma and Louise Byrne, Niall Cooper, Emma Byrne and Owen Merchant, thank you very much for joining us today. See you all next week. Stay safe.